Hello, good afternoon. I'm Dana Worthen with Sunny Solutions Living and I'm a wellness advocate with doTERRA International. So if you're joining me live today here on Facebook, do some hearts and likes. If you're watching this on YouTube, give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, so today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about essential oil science with emotions. So I took a few notes down. This is part of my class that I'll be teaching. And um, I wanted to share that there is a lot of science be behind emotions and essential oils. So first off, um, I want you to know that emotions are actually information carrying molecules. So what that means is we have tons of molecules throughout our body that make up our cells in the body. Emotions travel all through the body and they are an actual real thing. They're not just a thought that goes out into the air. They're actually a real molecule that moves in the body. And so these molecules do a couple of things. They bind to and react with our cell receptors. So here's our cell and we have like a little receptor. They can actually bind to that cell through a cell receptor. The other thing they do is they can get inside the cell and then they ultimately impact the cell. So, and the cell's behavior as well. So emotions are a real thing and they have real effect on our body. And um, emotions are processed throughout our entire body. So we have a very complex neurological processing um, function in our body. And it works with our mind health, our gut health, and um, just our overall heart health as well. So it's very important that we have a healthy way to deal with our emotions. Um, one of the oils that I wanted to spotlight today, and I feel like it's a really good time to spotlight that, you know, we're in the spring season now. If you live in North America or the above the equator right now, um, so we're starting to get more daylight, but lemon is like sunshine in a bottle and it's called the oil of focus. And today I'm using a resource, um, called the essential emotions book, but lemon, we always think about as cleaning and purifying and whitening and all those things, which is great, but it's very helpful for, um, children who are struggling with schoolwork or all of us adults who right now are quarantined at home and so it's very helpful to um, have some lemon oil that you can diffuse in your diffuser. So I have a diffuser behind me in the office. I also have another one in front of me in the office and I um, often run different blends on them, you know, at different times of the day. So when this one runs out, I'll turn my other diffuser on. Um, lemon is very helpful to be present and to be focused so that you can do one task at a time. Many of us get so overwhelmed, especially when we've been put into a new environment. So we're trying to work from home if you're not already a work at home person. Um, it's a little stressful to figure out your routine at home. I'm very fortunate because I work from home already, so I have a really good routine. But if you don't stick to that routine, your whole day can be blown very quickly. So lemon is great to diffuse because it'll help you to move from one task to the next. Um, the other thing that lemon can do is it can counterbalance mental fatigue. So as we've been having a ton of information coming at us all through our computer or our devices that we have, instead of in a person-to-person -person contact, we can get a little bit overwhelmed. And so lemon helps clear out that mental fatigue. It's also good if you've been reading too much or studying too much to clear out your mind. And then it re restores that energy. So it gives you mental flexibility and it's also gives you that ability to actually complete a project. A lot of us, we get um, distracted at home and so we don't end up completing our projects. And so I would recommend just to try a little bit of lemon in your diffuser. I like to blend a couple more oils with it. So a lot of times I'll throw in some peppermint and rosemary is also very good. And I will do a spotlight later on rosemary because it's very effective during this time of staying at home. So if you're watching this on the replay, make sure you do a hashtag replay on Facebook. If you're watching on YouTube, give me a thumbs up and a comment there as well and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I look forward to teaching more about essential oils and the emotions. Um, watch my Facebook page for posts on future classes. So have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.